Hello everyone, this is Azakidio here, trying to play Blaziken. So, the item description and the emblem setup can be found in the description. What I'm doing here is to hopefully show you how to play this game as Blaziken. This gameplay should explain everything necessary, but what you need to do is to make sure that you're stacking with Blaziken every time you're not going to jungle. What's most important from Blaziken is obviously that you're getting to the Blaziken stage and not only that but also level up so you can get your Unite move. Before that, it's very difficult to play as him. Here I was lucky to get a quick kill after stacking once and I'll be focusing on leveling up more than trying to get some stacks. In the past few matches, like about my first 100 matches with Blaziken, I was too focused on playing him in the jungle, or even when it didn't work out, I tried to I tried to stack all the time. Like even if I died, it don't it didn't matter to me because I thought stacking is more important. But just recently, honestly, I've realized. My best matches have has been when I was reaching the Blaziken stage earlier than everyone else. Having a level advantage is a huge deal for him. But not only that, but getting to Blaziken early helps you a lot. And just with Overheat alone you can do a lot more with this guy. Since you can just camp in bushes and surprise them with a huge damage. And sometimes they would retreat, making you a free stack with. As you can see here, the only reason I went to the jungle is to get the buff. Not for the buff alone, it's mostly for me getting to level 5 to evolve. Yeah, I found the opportunity to stack because as Combuskin, you can't really do much other than your one kick. But this led me to have two easy stacks. At the same time, I did not engage in this fight here, because I know that Trevenant is extremely dangerous to fight against. I want to be rather safe. Here, I have to say I was very lucky. This little exchange made me able to fully stack myself. If not 5 stacks by now. And... As you can see here, I still focus on evolving. Right now I have reached Blaziken stage, stunning both of them, and immediately leaving. My Gudra here is a very nice team player. Without Gudra I don't think I would have been able to stack. It's thanks to Gudra holding both of them back in our goal zone that got me enough time to farm levels and also stack a little bit. Now, what I'm looking for is engaging with high damage once they reach the bushes. Here I have my Unite move, and I can finally start playing as Blaziken properly. I rarely reach 100,000 damage with him, mostly because, well, I'm not going for damage, I'm just going for team play whenever possible. And usually I'm not really that much of a big player. In my opinion, Blaziken is not technically a carry Pokemon because you have to be extremely good with him. And even then, like I feel like Blaziken needs a little bit of a team. Even so, I feel like he's a top tier choice as a fighter. Or rather, all rounder. Yeah, I, I call them fighters. Not like that. What I'm trying to do is just poking for damage most of the time. Be at a safe distance. And sometimes even attacking the smaller enemies to heal up myself with my passive. There we go. This little Mimikyu was too greedy saw me with little HP. 
but every time you unite with Blaziken you get a tiny bit of HP. And as you see here, that little bit of shield helped me to survive Leafeon's unite move. But also stacking with cookies helped me survive here as well. When I play Blaziken, I'm most of the time in a risky position. What I'm trying to do is to bait the enemy into my side, just so my teammates can help me turn the battle, turn the tides of this battle. Because if the enemies are outside their own safety range, it will be difficult for them to return. Yeah, I'm looking for a good start. I wanted to use a nice overheat. But sometimes I even charge my overheat to zone them out. To tell them, you can't enter this place. If you do, you're gonna lose half of your HP. I feel like overheat has so many uses because of it. It's not just like, just dealing damage itself. It's more that you're scaring the enemy to leave that zone. Like you're conditioning the enemy to reposition themselves in a position that they don't want to be in. It's not always easy to do that, especially when you are in a solo queue, you can't really guess what your team's gonna do. But whenever possible... Oh, here you go, trying a 2v1 here. At this point I realized it's there's no point in me to stay in the middle. What I'm trying to do here is to put all the enemies closer to the outside of the jungle, closer to their own base, so my team has more time for their Reggie at the bottom path. It did help a little bit that I have killed Leafy on there, because it just gives our team more time. Thanks to Gudra, we're dealing lots of damage, we're extremely good. Look at him pop off. Like, Gudra is an MVP player here, not gonna lie. In my opinion, as Blaziken, I've tried playing in bottom path most of the time, like 60 matches around that, around that much. It's always risky. I realized it's better to play top lane because the goals are closer, so you have more opportunities to stack, as well as with your overheat, you can suppress the enemies much easier. There's so many more bushes around here, as you can see. Ever since I started playing top path with Blaziken, I've been having so many better matches. And here we are with the last two minutes. I'm not a pro player by all means, but what I'm trying to do is combo them as much as possible to have their time wasted. What I'm trying to do is be like a pseudo tank, like a secondary tank, wasting enemies skills onto me while also dealing decent damage to them. So my other attackers can clean up the area much more easily. Yeah, I saw Traven at low health, but what matters most is to get the Rayquaza there. That's why I put the Focus Blast right there. And with Eject Button, you can reposition yourself anytime, anywhere you want. Like, Eject Button is a must-have, in my opinion. And this match got me to 100k damage with Blaziken, with a decent tank damage taken. Guja is amazing here, as you can see with the stats, as always, such as strong Pokemon. But yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.